Now, one group of people who don't seem to feature prominently in the manifestos are disabled people. That's despite the fact that a million people in Yorkshire alone have a disability. Now, they're more likely to be directly affected by changes to health or social care and benefits. Sally Hurst has been to meet two women who are hoping their voices are heard during this campaign. Helen Johnson was forced to give up work seven years ago as her health deteriorated. She has cerebral palsy and for the past 25 years has used money from the Independent Living Fund, or ILF, to pay for three personal assistants. They help with her round-the-clock care. I was one of the first people to use the fund and it's opened up the world to me. It's, it's just given me a chance to contribute to life and be a human being and re and interact with people and just get out there and live my life. But the ILF is closing at the end of June. Money for care needs will be passed to local councils instead of directly to claimants. But it's not ring fence and Helen fears she will no longer get the care she needs. To all the politicians, I think they need to listen to the disabled people in this country. Yes, they want more disabled people in work and perhaps some people can do that and if they can then you know, they're lucky, but I'm not in that position now. So I need the support just to be able to get out of bed, get out of the front door. I can't go with it for much longer, like it is.